Well, I do hope you like uh, pasty boys in Hannibal t-shirts and turtle pajamas and bad lighting because this is what you're getting. Lucky you. Uh, so, I got my, my binder in the post, it's very, very exciting, from GC2B. I've got their little card there. I'm currently wearing it, for the sake of the review. And, you know, so far I'm actually really liking it. Um, I, re I received two. Uh, I, I'm wearing the grey one at the moment, for the sake of the video, because it shows up better. Uh, my black one I've had for about a week. And it is very, very comfortable. Um, it's not... I won't say you forget that you're wearing it, but um, but I, I certainly um, I do feel it's a lot more comfortable than most binders I have worn. Um, there's a there's a lot of stretch to it. Do I deeply breathe? I can move. I can raise my arms up above my head and twist around. I found with most binders that I've worn before. Um, my uh, movement has been very, very limited, and breathing has been quite difficult. Um, I'll show you from the side now, so you can see. So you can see I am quite, quite flat. I am quite large chested. I am a large C cup. So it's not completely flat, but then again, men's chests are not generally you know, cis men's chests are not generally completely flat. Um, I'm going to take this off now so I can show you the actual binder. Okay, so this is the one I have. It's got the grey. Now you can see there are no fastenings, no zips, no, uh, no velcro. You literally just have to pull it over your head. Um, first time I did this, it was quite difficult, um, but it, it will go. Uh, when, when you're pulling it on, you might feel like it's not going to happen, it's not going to go over, but trust me, it will. If you can't get it over at all, then you will have gotten the wrong size. Um, so I strongly suggest uh, making sure you measure yourself properly before putting in your order. But uh, the company are very, very good at doing replacements. I had a slight issue uh, with my first binder, my black one. Um, they were the ones to contact me and offer me a replacement, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. Um, really cannot commend their customer service anymore. They're just absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, they, were, they were very, very polite. They were the ones that offered me a replacement, and a replacement was with me, like, within a week. And, you know, I, I live in the UK, and it came all the way over, so... So that, I found that was, that was very good. Now, I'll show you again from the side, with me just wearing the binder. As you can see, there's, there's no... There's, there's actually... Usually with most binders, I find there's a lot of puffiness here and round here, and I'm not actually finding it with this one, which is very good. And I'll show you the back. You can see there. Hopefully I'm in shot. Da, 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 da. I have actually also worn this to the gym, which is the first time I've actually done that with a binder, because I just haven't felt comfortable before. Um, but, like I said, this one is very get very easy to breathe in, very easy to move around. Um, I think it's like you're only supposed to wear them for about eight hours. Uh, that's with any binder. Um, that is the most you can wear it for. I did wear it for ten hours. Uh, sorry, laptop's making noises. Um, I did wear it for ten hours. Um, but I didn't experience as much discomfort as I usually would, which I was very, very impressed with. This is not to say that you can wear these binders. I'm not saying do not wear the, do, don't wear these binders for longer than eight hours. I was an idiot. I made a mistake. 
Um, but thankfully, due to how well these are made, it wasn't such a terrible mistake as it could have been. Um, I, think I, think, uh, the, I think I can't think of what else to say about them. Um, the, the material itself is very, very well made. Um, I'm very impressed with that. Um, let's see if I've got my, my black one on hand so I can show you. Oh, yeah. So this is my black one. That's what it looks like when it's not on. Um, one of the things I like about this is that it can be, it might be, sound like a silly thing to, to appreciate here, but it can be folded up into a very, very, fold it very, very small. Where other, um, and you can just do that, and I can, have, I have an extra one there I can put in my pocket, or just shove into a bag. Some binders I've found are a little bit too bulky to be able to fold up so small, and I think it's because of the fastenings they have, or the material they're made out of. Um, I used to have an Underworks binder, and the material that they use for those ones, they don't fold down very well. Um, I was also given a, a friend's binder, because he wasn't using it anymore, and it's a very, very good binder. Uh, it, had, it had the velcro down the side, but again the velcro made it quite difficult to fold into small little balls like this. I am going to start rambling at you now, so I'm going to stop there. I hope this review has helped. Um, I'll pop the, uh, the, the site in the, uh, in the description below. They have, like, they have a Facebook, they have an Instagram, they have a Twitter, and they have a Tumblr, so um, yeah, I hope this has helped, and um, happy binding!